Iranian Neolithic farmers were among the earliest pioneers of agriculture and sedentary life in the ancient Near East. Emerging around 8000 BCE, particularly in the Zagros Mountains and surrounding areas, they cultivated wheat, barley, and lentils, and domesticated goats and sheep. These communities marked a significant transition from foraging to farming, setting the stage for later complex societies in the Iranian plateau and beyond. The early Iranian farmers developed distinct pottery traditions, architectural styles, such as mud-brick dwellings, and burial practices that set them apart from their contemporaries in Anatolia and the Levant. Sites like Choga Golan and Ganj Dare reveal early experiments in plant cultivation and animal husbandry, making them crucial nodes in the broader Neolithic Revolution. Their ancestry represents a blend of Zadzwana hunter-gatherer and ancient North Eurasian ancestry, with additional basal Eurasian signals. Here is a QP admixture model I made for their ancestry. For this video, I gathered the raw genomes of seven Iranian Neolithic farmers and ran them through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. The most common Y lineages among these samples were G2 and R2 lineages. The most common predicted phenotypes were North Indian and Arabid. Every sample had dark eyes, with three samples scoring brown and four scoring dark brown. Every sample had black hair. Most samples, except one, had brown skin. The most common predicted hair texture was curly, and almost every sample was predicted to have a Greek nose shape. The Iranian Neolithic farmers also had a predisposition to higher odds of male pattern baldness. Warrior and warrior phenotypes were equally common among the Iranian Neolithic farmers. They had higher odds of autism and lower levels of empathy. The Iranian Neolithic farmers mainly had lower odds of autoimmune disease, lower odds of obesity, and lower odds of colorblindness. The Iranian Neolithic farmers had lower odds of hemoglobin E disease, extremely high predisposition to epilepsy and leukemia, and a moderately high predisposition to myopia. The Iranian Neolithic farmers had low odds of atrial fibrillation, low odds of cardiovascular issues, lower odds of Alzheimer's, and mixed predisposition to type 2 diabetes. The Iranian Neolithic farmers had lower odds of ADHD, lower odds of depression, and mixed predisposition to bipolar 1 and schizophrenia. The Iranian Neolithic farmers had a strong predisposition to rheumatoid arthritis, an autoimmune condition prevalent in Western Eurasia, but also high predisposition to type 1 diabetes, which is a primarily European condition, and very low predisposition to multiple sclerosis, which is an another primarily European condition. The Iranian Neolithic farmers had lower odds of prostate cancer, lower odds of glioma, lower odds of polycythemia vera based on Jacquet 2 genotypes, and high predisposition to testicular cancer. Among the rare genetic conditions that Iranian Neolithic farmers carried risk variants for, Parkinson's disease was the most common rare condition. The Iranian Neolithic farmers had average vitamin D levels. Some individuals carried risk variants for hemochromatosis in the HFE gene, but only in the H63D variation. Most individuals were predisposed to shorter telomere length and lifespan. The most common predicted blood types were O and A. A thuff only three of the seven blood type predictions were decisive. Thank you for watching until the end, don't forget to leave a like. You can purchase the seven Iranian Neolithic farmer DNA files analyzed in this video, but also you can purchase Andre DNA products and services which include trait predictor executable and Kapatam modeling.